So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick way to get rid of lens flares in photographs. And this technique is called frequency separation. It tends to be used for skin editing. But in this case, I'm doing pretty much the same thing, which is getting rid of a color area that the texture is OK. The texture of this track that you see here is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just red, and I don't want it to be red. So I could go in and do all sorts of masking and stuff and attempt to correct that color into something that's more normal. But I already have normal color over here, so I'm going to use that to my advantage. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to duplicate your layer twice. You're going to hit hold down control or command if you're a Mac user and hit J. And hit it twice so that you make two copies. Now turn off your top layer, which is layer one copy, and click on layer one. Now go up here to filter, go to blur, go to Gaussian blur, and put your settings somewhere 9, 10, 11, 12 ish, somewhere in that area. If you have a smaller photograph, you're going to want your number to be smaller. Um, just something so that you can't see detail in the photograph. It doesn't have to be exact. And click OK. Now click your top layer, that's the non blurry layer. Go to Image, Apply Image, and your settings are going to look something like this when you open up, right about like that. Okay? So you're going to change your settings. Change your settings from layer merge to layer one. Okay? That's your blurry layer. Click the invert box. I know it looks really funky right now, but it's going to look okay here in just a second. And click add. Okay? And you're, if you did it right, and check your, make sure your scale is set to two and not one. So if you've done it right, your photo should look an off gray with some texture showing through. Click OK. Now change the blend mode to linear light on layer one copy on that gray layer. Now your photo should look untouched again. And the reason why is this layer right here, which I'm going to rename, layer one, is your color. That's the color in your photograph. And this layer up here is the texture. The gray layer is your texture. They've been separated out. So if I turn off texture, just color. If I turn that off, OK? So now you have the ability to mess with one but not the other. So I'm going to make a new layer by doing Control shift n or Command shift n if you're a Mac user. And I'm going to zoom into this problem area. I'm going to go pick out my clone tool. And right up here, there's a drop-down box. You're going to want to make sure that it says Current and Below, not All Layers, because you don't want to mess with your texture that's sitting on top of this. I'm going to make a decent-sized brush. And I'm going to pick something that's a medium softest brush. You don't want to do a hard brush for this. Make sure your flow is set to your brush somewhere 40, 30, 40 percent. Okay? So I'm going to clone from an area that has good color. So I want to keep this line right here that's going across the track. I don't want to get rid of that. So I'm going to clone, say, right there. Hold down Alt to clone the source. And now paint away the color that has mistakes in it. And you'll notice that my texture isn't getting touched. It's just the color. And just like that, zoom back out, lens flare is gone. Now let's zoom into this one right here. Do the same thing. I've got to be kind of careful because you'll see that that number two has a white line that goes through it. So just make sure, or in my case, make sure that I keep that white line. Don't get rid of that. I get rid of that green area. And just like that, no more. And there's one more area that would normally be really hard to fix, this light area right here, this light spots in the dark area. But all I have to do is make sure I have that line right there that stays there. And I clone the good area in. And just like that, lens flares are gone. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Check back for more.